In Fusion 360, there's many different ways to model a part and no way is right or wrong, but there are some practices that will make your modeling better and easier to do. There's such a thing as rule number one. But before we even get to rule number one, let's talk about rule number zero. Save your design. Before you do anything, you want to save your design. Right now, my design is untitled. So I'm gonna click on the disk and I'm going to save it. I'm going to choose the location of where I want to save it. And I'm gonna call this one rule number one. Now that I have my project saved, you can see that it has a version number. That way I can keep track of my design history. I'm going to create an object in two different ways so you can see the benefits of rule number one. What is rule number one? Rule number one is create a component. Before you do anything, create a component. Then name that component, then activate that component, and do all your modeling within that component. First, I'm gonna do it the wrong way. Then I'll show you how to do it with rule number one. So I'm gonna create a sketch on the ground plane. In this sketch, I'm going to create a rectangle. I'll choose a center point rectangle, click on the origin, type in 30, tab 30, enter, finish my sketch. Then I'm going to extrude. I'll extrude up 28 millimeters and press enter. Then I'm going to shell this box. I'll click the top face and type in two millimeters. Next, I'm gonna create a new sketch. This time, I'm gonna create the sketch on top of the box. Now I'm looking down on the box. I'm gonna press P on my keyboard for the project menu. And I can select the geometry. I'm gonna select this face and press OK. Now I have these geometry points projected into my sketch. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm gonna twirl out the body icon and I'm gonna hide this body. Now I'm gonna click Extrude. Click this interface and type in negative two. You want to make sure that this says new body. If you didn't hide this body, it may say join, and we don't want that. So hide the body, make sure it says new body, and press OK. Now the sketch is gone, so we need to twirl out the sketches, reshow the sketch, and now I want to select this outer edge and this edge and click extrude. And I want to type two millimeters, and this time I want to select join. And now I can show the other body and hide this sketch. Now I have two bodies, a box and a lid. I can highlight everything, click the fillet command, and make a half a millimeter fillet. This is great, I can select the second body, press the M for the move command, and I can move it up. So here I have a box with a lid that fits inside. The problem is I have all of my design history down at the bottom of the timeline in the main feature of my browser. So everything is at the top for rule number one, version one. This is the active component. So everything is within this. Now let's do it a different way. So I'm gonna hide the bodies and sketches. And this time I'm gonna do rule number one. I'm going to create a component. I'm gonna create a new component. The next thing we do is name that component. So I'm gonna name this component box. And press OK. We can tell this component is activated because the little dot is clicked. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll create a sketch on the ground plane. And then I'm gonna create a center point rectangle. Click on the origin, type 30. Tab, 30, enter, finish the sketch, extrude, 28 millimeters, press OK. Then we're gonna shell this box, click the top face, two millimeters. Now what we wanna do is before we do anything else, we want to activate the top component, so the rule number one. And you can see that this is now an assembly because it has components inside it. Now I'm gonna do rule number one again, create a component. So I'll say new component. And this time I'm gonna say lid. Now I have a lid and I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna create this sketch at the same place on the lip and I'm gonna press P to project. I'm gonna select that geometry and press okay. I'm gonna finish my sketch. 
Now I'm going to extrude. I'm going to select the inner piece, and I'll type negative two. And notice, even with this geometry shown, it still says new body. That's because I'm in a different component. So I'll press OK. It still hides the sketch by default. That's normal for Fusion. But to find this sketch, I have to go inside the lid, twirl out the lid sketches, and then reshow it. Now I want to click the extrude command again, click both faces, and type in two millimeters. Now, if I want to do the fillet, I can highlight the box lid, click fillet, type 0.5, press OK. Then if I want to do the fillet on the main box part, I can hide this sketch and then activate the box. I can tell what is activated because I can see it. A good habit to be in is to isolate that component. So I'll right click and click isolate. Now I can only see what's in this component and then I can fill it. I will select everything. Now I've added my 0.5 fillet. I can show the lid again. I can right click, unisolate. And if I activate the top component, you'll see I can see everything. But look at my design history. It has everything that has happened. But if I click and activate box, I have a very small design history. And then if I activate lid, I have only the design history for lid. This is a much better way to organize your components and modeling because we can go back in and see specifically when a design feature happened and keep everything more organized. Of course, I can make a component so I can right click on body one and I can say create component from bodies. And so now I have this new component down here, component number three, and I can rename this. I can rename this and I can say original box. And if I activate this component, what I have in my design history, it's just a new body. So I don't have that design history. That design history is still up in rule number one. And I can even move this body into original box. So now original box has both of those bodies, right? So it's a component and it has two bodies, but what's different? If I activate original box, it only has the new component and the cut and paste. So it doesn't have the design history. That's why we wanna follow rule number one. Remember, rule number one is create a component. So if I activate box one, I can see it there and I can isolate it if I choose. And then I can only see box one and I have just the design history for this box. So hopefully you can use rule number one to always create a component, name that component, activate it, and keep all of your design history within that component.